Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope uh, you're safe and sound uh, in the middle of this coronavirus uh, epidemic that we're facing. I've had some time to create a new video for a SketchUp plugin called Scatter, allowing you to scatter different trees and grass and such into your scene or file. I'm sorry in advance if the quality of the video or the commentary is not as uh, good as I uh, hoped. I hope uh, you enjoy it and you find it useful. As you can see, this is a file that we used before. This is the symbol for the plugin. It's called Scatter, as I said. Let's get a quick look at the menu and such. The first tab, the second render list tab which is empty at the moment. And then you've got the license tab. You can see I'm using a student license that costs like uh, 10 euros uh, a year or something like that for students, which you can get uh, as long as you present a valid student ID. You can check the link to their website in my description. We're gonna go now to the library that is that comes built in with the plugin. You'll see there are different options for grass and su such cut, long, daisies, some trees, bushes, lilies, stones, and gravel. And you can also add your own library in the end if you'd like to. Uh, you can add it to the scatter library. Anyway, in the beginning let's start with... Uh, um, let's pick something like tall grass. Make sure to pick the render only option and then we load it. That way the file won't freeze as much and it will only be visible in the render. The black part is the water. Anyway, next thing you do, you click on the group that you selected where you're supposed to have the grass and regenerate. You can change the name and set it as uh, grass, for example. And as you can see, the red part is the grass. If you go down through the menu, you'll notice you've got different distribution settings when it comes to the type, it can be random and such. You... Sorry about so save. Anyway, you can change the intensity, for example, which will change the amount of grass that appears in the scene and such. I waste way too much. It was the number was way too high. Anyway, let's go back to uniform. Let's define the spacing. You can change it a tiny bit, make the grass uh, a bit less dense. You can even add rotations to the grass and such. Anyway, let's go back to this. Shifting is like when the f uh, grass moves and such. You've got other settings for slopes and altitudes if you've got a bit more complex topography of the terrain. This is a clipping area if you want to select a certain area where you want grass on the same platform, for example, on, on the same tiling. This is the rotation settings where you can change the rotation of the grass. Uh, the scale, make the grass uh, smaller and bigger in some parts to make it uh, more visible. And this is the new seeds part where it just randomly regenerates uh, new seeds for your file. Let's just create regenerate. Okay, we go back to the library. Let's pick some trees. Don't forget to pick render only and load. Anyway, as I said, if you select, voila, it will just create trees on its own randomly, which is randomly generated. Every time you generate a new seed, they will have different uh, positions uh, in the file. Another thing I want to show you that you can do, let's erase the trees that I added already. Let's pick the pick point tool, and now you can individually pick each tree and uh, position it on the plane. Um, uh, makes it a bit more customizable for you in the end uh, to add the uh, details into the scene and such when it comes to the trees and such if you don't want them to be random. 
as I said, this is some extra settings to add movement and such to the trees, make them uh, uh, move a bit, rotate, this change the scaling, make the trees a bit smaller, a bit bigger in other parts. Anyway, I'm adding a bit more trees at the moment to make the scene a bit more full. <laughs> I made a bit too many and I deleted them in the end. <laughs> Let me add them uh, a bit quickly. One, two, three. And that's it. Let's rename it. Trees and regenerate. Go back to the library. Let's add some bushes, render only and load. It was randomly generated. And that's basically it, because I want it to be a random. I don't want to change anything in the settings, I guess. Just change the intensity a bit. Uh, make it a bit more than too much. Yeah, let's make this. Uh, this is better. Let's rename it to bushes now. And generate. I think we could add this a few rocks or stones. Don't forget the render only part. I wanna pick them on the plan. Pick by point. A few here, a few there. And that's basically it. Uh, forgot to change the name. We can go back to the render list. You change it and you regenerate again. And that's it. Gonna go to the scene that I already prepared. Let's go to the VRA settings. And let's make a quick render to see how it looks like. This is an older test I was doing. Hmm. It seems a bit empty. Not many trees are there compared to the other videos. Let's go back. Go back to the render list. We look for trees added. Pick point. And let's add a few more. Here and there. Maybe it seems a bit better now. And a few more rocks as well to make the scene a bit more lively, maybe. <laughs> anyway, let's render again. I'm not using any HRI or anything. I just want you guys to focus on the uh, scatter plugin for now. Mm, this one seems a bit better, I guess. Let's go and uh, put it to 4K resolution and improve the quality of the render. I'm gonna start the render now and I'll show you the result and a few different scenes uh, that I rendered to show you the level of details you can expect from this amazing plugin that can save you a lot of time, especially if you're a student with a deadline. In the end guys, here are a few renderings I did of the scene with different positions for the rocks, zones and uh, trees. I hope uh, this video is gonna be helpful for you and I hope you're gonna enjoy using this amazing plugin which comes with a seven days period uh, of demo if I remember correctly. If you've got any requests at all then please leave them in comment and I will try my best to create a video showing how to do it. In the end, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you guys.